Today, me, Jeff, and John are going to be experiencing a day in Los Angeles on three different budgets. Now, boys, these budgets range from dirt cheap to very expensive. I need that money. I always get the money in the budgets. I'm going to go for the big one. Now, the beauty of this is we're actually going to be re-rolling our budgets three different times. And for our first budget of the day, we're letting these balloons decide. Ooh. All right, I got $10. $10. Let's go. Any, any, any. $25. John, do the honor for the last one. 50. Yes. Now, boys, let's split up and enjoy our mornings. So I only have $10, but that's not even going to be a problem because this video is sponsored by Upside. Inflation is making us all think about ways to cut back, going out less, dining less, and I think we can all agree, less is not fun. I just claimed 20% cash back of Big Mama and Papa's Pizzeria, so that's where I'm headed, bro. The Upside app is super easy to use, and it's really helping me combat inflation. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn up to three times more cash back with Upside, and you can cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon or other brands. So I got this beautiful egg boat breakfast for only $7.49, but here's the beauty. With Upside, I saved 20% cash back, so this only ended up costing me $5.99, which means I have enough money to get a coffee, which is what I need right now to go with my breakfast. Bro, I'm so excited to try this. This looks so good. Thank you, Upside. This is so good. I know I'm not the only one who loves the Upside app because it has a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. If you guys want to save money like I did, download the Upside app on the App Store or the Google Play Store. And if you use my promo code JIDAL, you can get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10. With my remaining $4, I need a coffee. I'm pretty tired. It's $4 exactly. Coffee secured. Now let's see what the other guys are up to. So I have a $25 budget, so I'm deciding to get some pancakes. I know there's this dope pancake spot. I have $50. Honestly, I thought I was gonna get the cheapest one because that's what I always get. I just walked here and John! No. Jeff? Hey! What's up, dude? I haven't seen you since like five minutes ago. Five minutes ago? Hey! Well, let's go get some breakfast. I know there's dope pancakes for us, so. Damn, dude. Vibes in here are immaculate. I heard that they have the biggest pancakes here. They have a lot of big things here, but their pancakes is definitely the biggest. I just got eggs instead. And look and what huge. I got. Look at And huge, bro. These are my hands, dude. This costs about $15, and that's at the same price. I had enough budget to get eggs and potatoes. I'm gonna try these pancakes first. So I got a banana pancake. Bro, that is so good. For $25 budget, I think I killed it. I can probably just eat this for the next three days. All right, John, you have $50 budget. My plate comes down to $19, but I just got a normal eggs with tortillas and a sausage. Oh, man. Nice and creamy. Oh, man, look at that. All right, John and I are going to try to finish our meal, and we'll let you guys know how we do. Plate done. Jeff still has to work on that. No way. I'm really one-tenth of the way finished through my pancake. Well, Jeff, I'm sorry. I got more money to spend. I got to dip out, and I'll see you on the next challenge. All right, bro. I'll catch you later. I feel bad for leaving Jeff, but I have about 32 more dollars, and I know exactly where to go. We're at this new Funko place. This is sick. Look, Panther. They even have like a whole town. That me up, bro. Thank you, bro. This place is sick. I think I could get me, Jeff, and James something. I feel like James's favorite character on Star Wars is Obi-Wan Kenobi. And it's a Funko exclusive. All right, so we got one. Let's find Chef something. He's a Lakers fan. I am going to get him LeBron James. Now one for me. I must go for the Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah. So I ended up paying $24 for the entire meal. That wraps up my entire budget for breakfast. Let's hope I can get a bigger budget for lunch. I'm meeting up with the boys at the park and we're gonna go figure out our next budget. See you there. Hey guys, went to the Funko Pop store. Instead of buying myself some stuff, I also got you guys some. Stuff. Oh, oh, let's go. Okay. Okay. All right, Jeff. I know that you're a Lakers fan. I got you an exclusive. LeBron James. Let's go. Team. Thank you. Oh, bro. I like that. Yeah. I know that you're a Star Wars fan. Yes. And your favorite character is Obi Wan. An exclusive. What? Funko Pop. Let's go. Oh, this is hype. I got myself a little Goku. Ooh, Goku. Ooh, little Goku. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, boys, to decide our budget, uh -huh. we're going to be playing a game of Ninja. Last place gets the bottom budget. Last place gets the bottom budget. <laughs> we haven't started yet. Basically, you guys know the drill. Last place, bottom budget. First place, top budget. Second place, middle budget. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, 
spot. Fight. No. Yes. <laughs> I got him. No? I didn't get my hand. Better watch out. Oh. 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 <laughs> so defensive. Oh, no! Nope. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> oh! Alright, I've got a budget of 50. I got 10. And I got $100. Let's go live our lives. Since I have $10, I have came to the batting cages. It's going down. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, hell no. Okay, not bad. One last chance. I don't know if baseball is really for me. This is my first time being in the batting cages and hitting balls. As I say, nothing beats hitting balls. Let's see what the guys are up to. So you guys know I have a hundred dollar budget and I decided to go to K1 Speed. If you guys don't know what K1 Speed is, it's basically like go-karting, but you go really, really fast. You have to wear a helmet to be safe. Let's go see how much it is. Hopefully I have a little bit extra to buy some food. It cost me a total of $60. So we're just gonna wait right now. I guess we're competing against each other. Okay. Would you guys want to do a wager? Okay, deal. I got a deal against Marco. If I win, he has to do 10 push-ups, but if I lose, I have to buy him some food. Either way, I'm buying them food, because if I lose, I'm buying them some food at the bar. But if I win, they're going to be eating my dust, so it don't matter anyway. God told me to say that, all right, guys? I'm ready to race. I wonder what James and John are doing. So I have $50, which is actually a perfect amount. I looked up, there's this place called iFly, where you literally fly, you levitate, and it costs $50 exactly. So I'm not going to get food, but I'm spending my whole budget on that. Women love a man in uniform. Look like Clifford. Yeah, this thing's pretty pretty tight down there. People have been calling me Air Drodel for years. It's nothing new to me. Certified indoor skydiver, y'all. Bro, there's no way Jeff and John are spending their money better than me right now. Marco, you're going down, bro. It's my first time go-kart racing. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is sick. Let's go! Number one, baby! I took the dub. That was actually really fun. Thank you, Don, for the support. Marco! Hey, Marco's a man of his word. I respect that. All right, boss. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, eight, nine. Hey, good race, Marco. I respect it. Thank you so much for participating. So that race cost me sixty dollars. I still have forty dollars left. You won't guess where we're at. We're at the Los Angeles Zoo. They are closing in forty minutes. I still have seventy dollars. We're gonna speed run the zoo and see how many animals we can see. See if we can even spend the extra seventy. Let's see how much it costs. Doctor's oh, gonna be running with me. Hi. Hello. Still possible I two tickets just to see the exhibit? Yeah, unfortunately we we stopped selling tickets at uh, and the last entry is at three forty-five. Have yeah, a good day. Have a good one. He drove all the way to the zoo. I've never been in a situation where it's so hard to spend seventy dollars. We do something wholesome. There's a bunch of vendors out here that buy families, spend the entire seventy there. We didn't they take Apple Pay? <laughs> I have seventy dollars. Well, I have whatever she wants. She wants something. That one? Twenty-five. Yeah, fifty more dollars if you want that. No, that's it. Does she, does she want anything else? No, it's snowman. Oh, you like snowman better? Hope you enjoy them. Is that Tana? Uh huh. Hi, Zatana. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. She's having a great time. <laughs> so we bought two toys for her for forty dollars. That was wholesome. Did you feel good, Garden? I felt good. Yeah. We spent the rest of the thirty dollars on another kid. They asked us to respect the privacy, so we did. But that's our budget. We're going back for the final challenge for the biggest budget of the video. And I need that money. So see you there. We are reunited again. Now you guys are probably wondering why we're in a bookstore right now. It's really cold outside and it's really dark outside. Jeff, pick a number between one and three. Three. Pick a number between one and three. Two. I'll be number one. Whoever Siri calls first is getting a $500 budget for this section of the video. Siri, pick a number between one and three. Two. Oh, John, $500. Let's go, John. 
Bro, I wanted the 500 because I wanted to buy like, you know, a winter fit. Hey, I don't care that you're from Iceland. I don't care that you're from Antarctica. It's still cold here. Do you want the screen side up or this side? Uh, back side up. Do you want K side? K side up. $100. Whoa, whoa, whoa. redo. Redo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I guess, and Jeff, you have $100, yes. I have $10. I have a whopping $500. What are you gonna do, oh, yeah, what are you gonna do with that? See, don't see, John doesn't know how to spend money. Like, he's yeah. like so nice I, usually. Like, yeah, treat yourself. See you boys around. I see you at the bookstore. Again. All right, so we're walking back from that bookstore and I'm pretty hungry, you guys saw. I didn't spend any money on lunch. Dude, I'm sure there's a food truck around here. I can get something fire for 10 bucks. Food truck? Yeah, you all wanna come? Yeah. yeah. Well, since we're going to the same spot, if you guys can beat me on a rock, paper, scissors, I will buy you dinner. I'm gonna pick paper. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> paper gang! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! <laughs> Both of us got free dinner! <laughs> I think I'm gonna get the lobster. The lobster filet mignon. Since you're so generous to buy us dinner. I gotta say, I think we found the bougiest food truck around. I'm getting the shrimp filet mignon. You guys are going nice. I'm going for a New York. Late. Oh, did John say he was paying for you too, sir? Nah. You oh. want you want a plate? Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Shoot. Ooh. God gets free dinner too. Oh, 150 after tax. Damn, John, you down to 350 bucks. Hey, you know, I, at least all the homies eat. I feel bad for you because we talked about going to a very affordable food truck at first, and then we ended uh, up at this establishment somehow. That's all I right. Appreciate that's you, okay. Yeah. We're all eating in the car because it's so cold outside. Boys, one bite review. Yep. Pristine, juicy, succulent. I think it's succulent. So I'm back home right now and I have $10 to spend. It's a Friday night so I could go out. I could have maybe a drink. Drinks in LA sometimes literally cost like $20, bro. It's insane. So I have a better idea. Instead of being a drunk dad, I could be a good dad and hang out with my dog. What's up, dude? You stink! So I think it's time I just go buy cookies and dog treats and hang out with my dog. All right, just got back from CVS and this bag of dog treats, cookies favorite, only costs $5.60. So I've got about $3, $4 left over. Oh, hello. All right, cookie, proposal. Sit. Good boy. Hopefully the other guys are living it up a little bit more than me on this Friday night. To spend my last $100 budget, I came to one of my favorite spots, Feature. Gonna get something cozy, something warm, maybe a jacket, something to fit the style of winter. Everybody's been cold today. Let's see what I can get for $100. I think I found what I wanted. An Essentials crew neck. This fits so nice. Thumbs up, my last purchase of the day. This is my entire budget. Let's go check out what John is doing. Hmm. You know, sometimes when you have a $350 budget now, I don't want it to spend it on, so I came to Target. It just feels different now that I have like this amount of money, but I'm so stoked. Maybe I should get candles. <sighs> smells so good. All right, gotta get myself some pre-workout toys. I also got me a curtain, a leash for the dog. Balls. Let me see if Buzz likes her balls. Oh yeah. She approves. Now after Target, they spent 164 and I spent $150, which leads me down to $183 left on the budget to spend for the rest of the day. And I am here at Dave & Buster's. But I can't do this alone. I have brought one guest and it's my girlfriend, Anna, and let's go. I just spent $100 on a player card, and you know what's crazy? A total stranger gave me five other player cards with unlimited blue games. $100 worth of chips is a lot to do, but we can't start this without a beer. Woo! Cheers. Let's get to the first game. First game of the night. No way, no way. Oh, let's go! No! On to the next game! Okay, so we won about 10,000 tickets. We just walked out with our prizes. We got the uh, Bluetooth speaker. Boom! Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see basketball decides our budget, click up here. Peace.